Hey everybody, welcome back to my Star Wars channel. My name is David, and today I thought we'd look at my massive Star Wars collection. I do have a massive Star Wars collection, or at least I think I do. I think I do. Uh, and uh, you probably see some of it, you know, in the background here. It's been it's featured in some of my videos. And usually when that happens, we're in my office, okay? I have stuff on display. I don't know why that was in quotes. I have stuff on display in my office. And so these are things that are actually out on pedestals. There's little vignettes set up. You know, there's characters in spaceships, things like that. Um, that's going to be the beautiful stuff to show you. That's going to be the stuff that you'll see and you'll go, ooh, ah. Um, but then I'm going to take, I'm going to take you home with me and I'm going to show you the stuff I've got back there. A lot of that stuff is not on display because I have a family and my wife doesn't want it all over the house, <laughs> which you can probably understand. So I have a closet. I have a closet where I have some stuff out and you'll see that. And then I have like a trunk and the stuff that's in my trunk is mostly just kind of thrown in mishmash and hodgepodge and in plastic bags. And a lot of that stuff I'll probably go through really quickly. So I'm not just going to take everything out of bags. It's, it's stuff that needs to, it would need to be set up and reassembled. I'll just briefly scan it and show it to you. And then I'm going to show you uh, my action figures at the end. I mean, you've seen all the vintage figures and that's really what I'm going to show you too. They're just in plastic bags. They're not out. Again, they're not out on display, um, but we'll close with that and I'll kind of narrate everything as I go. And if as we're going, I scan by something and it's too fast, you're like, oh, what, what, what was that? What was that? Just leave a comment below and say, hey, what was that white R2D2 thing? You know, and just ask. And then I'll see if I can't remember <laughs> what it was because I, I pretty much save anything that says Star Wars on it. And so, yeah, you're going to see a lot of that. Pretty excited. Let's get into it. All right, here we go. We're going to start in my office. And this is uh, just, you know, it's random stuff. So there's some really old vintage books back there, a vintage coloring book. Uh, there's a mail order stormtrooper that his helmet comes off and Luke's underneath various R2-D2s. You're going to see some of like different uh, action figures from different years. You're going to see vintage stuff like those books way in the back. Um, you're going to see like Burger King or McDonald's toys like right here in the front. There's a couple of different Yodas and uh, there's a really tall Qui-Gon. He's like a hollow plastic thing. There's some um, Pez dispensers back there. There's a really awful Star Wars book that I couldn't stand back there. <laughs> uh, you're going to see a lot of Boba Fett stuff. Tons of Boba Fett stuff because I'm a big huge fan. Uh, Mr. Potato Head, of course. My staff is missing a gun. It still bugs me. Uh, yeah, big dogs from way back in the 80s. You're going to see a lot of dobacks too because I am just heavily into dobacks. I love dobacks. Anything in this dobak, I will get. Um, so there's some more um, action or some more Happy Meal toys. Again, vintage books, vintage kids books. Um, like I said, I collect anything. Um, that's a VHS cassette, I think, of Return of the Jedi. Uh, more Happy Meal toys. Uh, those are walkie-talkies over there in the corner. Um, a bunch of Happy Meal toys. Star Wars Aftermath. I did not like that book either. Did you like that book? I did. I don't know. I got that book because I thought it was going to be like great. All right. So vintage toys. So vintage Tie Fighter. Vintage action figures too. So all of this is vintage, and I have duplicate. These are duplicate figures. These are beater figures that I stick because I want. I want figures in all my ships. It's a book my wife got me for my birthday. It's pretty cool. I like that book. Um, and all this stuff was purchased in my adulthood, like later in life. Um, I consider these action figures. I wanted to get the, you know, Jabba and his whole set. I know that Princess Leia doesn't go with it, but that's where she fits best. So that's a box for a puzzle back there. Um, the Rancor. I actually had to get a figure for him too. Had to get a figure for my Dubak. He doesn't have reins yet because I can't find good reins. Um, there's some of my vintage books back in the background, my novels from uh, and I bought all those later too. I used to have those when I was a kid, uh, when I was a kid, and then I rebought them again later in life because I wanted them. Um, but that Scout, right there, I had that. I've had that since my youth. Um, the Captain Phasma cup. That's a cup, a mug. I got that um, at the race in uh, Walt Disney World. Here's some more vintage ships. My vintage Millennium Falcon, completely restored, 100% together. That's a Yoda mask down there, not a melted Yoda. Uh, my ATST, which I used to have when I was a kid, but then I had to buy later in life. Um, and then I've got a, like a series of Yoda stuff, of course, vintage uh, snow speeder. And then here's all the Yoda things and then some Darth Vader stuff. So I've got Darth Vader bank. I've got a Darth Vader helmet. Um, that's a candy dispenser in the front. I can't remember even what that thing is. 
Um, yeah, that's a mask. That's a mask. I think one's a cookie jar. It's a ceramic cookie jar. So got all my Darth Vader heads. And there's another kid's book. This is a pop-up book. It has action-packed flaps. It's a pop-up book. Um, vintage Y-Wing that I restored. Uh, again, there's a figure inside. And that R2 is also vintage. Those are all Jango Fett figures um, from that series. And then there's a full-size Jango Fett in the background. Of course, my Slave 1, which has only had two owners uh, in its whole life. The original guy and then me. So I'm still taking care of it if you're watching. And then uh, big, huge... Uh, action figures from Empire and then this right here is an automated bank um, and it's covered in dust but you know it's sitting on my top shelf and my three uh, pop figures uh, that I've collected I don't have a whole lot but I like them and that's, that's not right there that's a candy dispenser see that little fan thing it's a candy dispenser but I saved it um, some of the new action figures here um, and they're way tucked in the back you can't even really see them from where uh, they stand but they're there and here's my big do back that I love 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 um, and it's since I had a sense get rid of the box because the box ended up falling apart. Um, little play school, uh, do back, uh, here in the front and then way in the back, uh, the Galactic Heroes one. Uh, this do back, I kind of put together myself. Uh, I got the do back, I think in China and then bought the figure separately, but put them together. And then this guy is, uh, a really cool do back set, uh, that I love. And then right next to that is my black series, uh, speeder bike, which is pretty awesome uh, again random things that are around my house uh, you know video game uh, guys that uh, sit on my shelf here's all my novels that I've been going through and reviewing for you if you don't know I already, I'm going through all the vintage books and reviewing them in order and kind of seeing whether if they're still uh, considered to be good books here's my uh, vintage uh, at, at that I've restored and of course there's beater figures in there as well because, you know, the ships need figures. And this guy just sits in my closet. He sits in my closet. Uh, Full-size Boba Fett cardboard stand-up. Uh, that thing around his neck is a poster tube carrier. Uh, here's the troop transport that I restored also. Uh, Full-size uh, vintage Death Star that I restored, but the gun's broken. Ugh, wish I had a better gun. Uh, some mounted posters. That's a signed uh, David Prowse poster there, Burger King uh, glasses that I used to have when I was a kid, um, the actual vinyl record of Star Wars, Black Series Boba Fett, a deck of cards, um, this Boba Fett uh, figure right here in the front, my brother got that for me for my birthday, which is probably one of the best presents I've ever got, uh, gold Boba Fett back there, and the lunch pail from Celebration, here's some more stuff that's sitting up on a shelf, just random Boba Fett stuff, just hanging out, uh, little squishy toys my kids no longer play with, but there's Star Wars, there's a costume back there, that old that blue box that's a old vintage uh costume another full size uh boba fett well not full size okay here's so, here's so here's the box full of plastic stuff so a lot of these are micro machines these are all like the die cast micro machines the heavy ones and then this is that little dice game that came with the action figures a long time ago the galactic battle series there's my 12 inch vintage boba fett this is original from when i was a kid so only one owner that's me uh, I got the gun and all these parts, but they're somewhere else. A little beat up uh, TIE fighter, some pens. See, I collect everything. If it's got Star Wars on it, big, huge pile of uh, micro machines. These are the bigger size ones, um, all the big ships, and I keep them in bags. This is a box of just randomness. Like, you know, it's Pez dispensers, it's little tiny action figures, it's a stuffed animal. And here, Okay, so here's my class. <laughs> See, I'm going really fast. Here's my classic figures. So this is my um, A New Hope figure set collection. And you'll notice that I keep them all together. Uh, with their weapon so I don't have stands yet for them so but if they have capes or if they have weapons or if they have accessories it's all wrapped together in a plastic bag ah oh, Luke's lightsaber spent uh, this is a reproduction obviously of the rocket firing Boba Fett uh, I don't have the real one but you know I have to have something so there I have a repro and here's my Empire Strikes Back action figure collection set and again uh, all parts and accessories are in the plastic bags with the guys that's an extra uh, Chewbacca because he needs to carry C-3PO. I mean one day it'd be great to have all these on stands and have them out with their weapons and you know in an office but I'll have to wait until uh, kids are out of the house probably and I have more space to myself to do that with. And the Return of the Jedi action figures. Uh, this was a weird set because like nobody had guns. Everybody has sticks. Stick, stick. Okay he has a gun. He had a hard gun to find. Man, that gun was hard. That gun, that gun was hard to find too. Stick, stick. Right? They all have just pull stick, 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 stick. <laughs> Boba Fett, 
bow and arrow, <laughs> the worst weapons. Uh, and then the my Pride and Joy, my one carded figure, um, I have Endor Han uh, on a card back. And the guy who sold it to me was super nice and gr really gracious. So that's it. That's all my stuff. All right. So that was my Star Wars collection. I think it's massive. I think it's massive. Or at least my family does, right? And it's growing all the time. And obviously, I didn't show you everything. Uh, I have I have a bunch of t-shirts. I'm not going to show you all my shirts, go through my closet. Uh, I got coffee mugs, right? I'm not going to go through my coffee mug collection or go through my Christmas decorations, right? I have Christmas decorations too. So there's lots of stuff that kind of like is left around the house in key places. I'm not going to go through all of that, but you know, if you're like me, there's Star Wars everywhere in your life, Star Wars all over your house. And so, yeah, thanks for sticking with me. May the force be with you. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.